Okay. Hey, everybody. We're back for episode number 10 of Problem of the Week. Uh, we're coming off a couple of Power Query weeks, so we're back on schedule with Dax. And we have with us uh, today Haroon Ali. So welcome, Haroon. Hi, guys. Um, glad to have you back. We, uh, we, we still, oh, thanks for inviting me back. <laughs> still refer a lot back to your uh, problem number four on the, uh, the granularity mismatch. And so uh, we're looking forward to another another epic problem for us, uh, for us this week. So um, why don't you, why don't you just kind of give a brief intro to, uh, to what you've got for us and where that came from? Cool. Yeah. Uh, thank you for having me on Brian again. Uh, surprised after the first one, but like you said, people have been benefiting <laughs> from it. So, so all good. Um, hopefully another one that I've bought um, from, from my own work from, from industry um, and hopefully another super relevant one that I'm sure has got, hundreds of use cases, um, regardless of the industry. Um, so this one's about dates and also bringing in the element of time. Um, so if I share my screen. So what the task is, is uh, we want to be able to define a particular date period, but also select a particular a start time and an end time. And then if you think about the uses for this, you know, I might want to know my, my sales between, I want to be able to define a start time and then say, right, how many sales did I do up until 12 o'clock on the 24th? I want to know the number of customers, the number of pots I'm producing. So, so it is a very, very common scenario. Employees um, on shift or... Yeah, exactly, you know. Yeah. I'll, I'll, and that's the second part of the problem is, you know, it is bringing, taking it a step further. Um, so the first ask is actually ju just between a date period and a time period selected. So when I've picked start and end time, just give me a sum of uh, the total customers. And um, the second part of the ask is actually trim that down so that I'm only getting my working days, which for, for this example, we just use Monday to Friday. Um, so the model has been built um, that there, there, there is, ooh, I, I will sort that out, that the model has been built. Um, and, and there is some some dummy data within the fact table. Um, yeah, only a couple of days in there, but enough for, for us to tackle this problem. Um, and it's DAX only, guys. Um, so absolutely no power query. Um, and I think what's interesting about this challenge is it it probably just builds on a few simple DAX techniques that, that you kind of just need to pull together. Um, so it really is about just breaking this problem down into baby steps. And, and I th think... You should all hopefully get that. Yeah, this is great. This 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 is one I know. You know, one of the questions we get all the time is on, you know, work days between two dates, and in in responding to a number of those questions, the the element of time, you know, time between dates comes up a lot, and so yeah. we've we've not not dealt with that one explicitly. So this I think this is going to be a great problem and a great reference. Um, so one of the things, you know, in, in looking at this, when you first floated this one to me is, you know, we're talking about kind of how to get more folks involved in problem of the week. And um, we've had some recently that have been quite difficult, you know, multi, uh, multifaceted, some of the calculation groups um, problems were, were pretty difficult. We've had some difficult um, power query problems. Um, sure. This one, I, I don't want to say this is easy by any stretch, but um, maybe a little bit a little bit more intermediate than some of the uh, the ones we've had recently. So, you know, my thinking is if you've been, you know, kind of sitting on the fence, kind of watching problem of the week, um, but not really diving in, um, being a bit hesitant, this, this would be a really good one to jump into. Because I think um, it probably, you know, time commitment wise is probably a little bit less and a little bit lower complexity than some of the ones we've been doing. But I think a lot, still a lot to learn here and um, a lot to get out of it. So, you know, really want to encourage everybody to, to take a shot at this one and, um, you know, post solution that I, I think as we always do, we, you know, we always find that um, there are just some real innovations in the way people go about attacking these problems. So even ones that, you know, look, like they've got, you know, just a, a path or two. 
um, always come up with interesting wrinkles. Um, that yeah, there's, are, al there's always something for even for us to learn for, for, from the solutions that come in. Like, absolutely, um, absolutely. That, that, that's the great thing about it is just seeing the flexibility of Power BI, really. Um, no, nobody actually looks at the same problem. That there probably is an optimal way of doing it, but I, I don't think there's a right right way or a wrong way as, lo as long as we're getting there and, and you understand that solution. So you're, you know, you mentioned before kind of in terms of um, advice for people really kind of breaking it down and by variables is you think the kind of the, the right way to tackle this one. Yeah. Uh, and, and like I said, it, th there's probably a few techniques. So, so one that, that I'll kind of hint you is being able to um, harvest your, your slicer selection into your calculation. Um, and then, yeah, just considering, well, actually, do, do I have a start date and an, a start time and an end time to, to put onto a slicer? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Um, you know, you pro probably need to, to use some ducks to, to generate that as well. Mm -hmm. um, so hopefully a couple of pointers there. And like I said, actually getting to the end result it, it is just joining all them three or four techniques in, into one calculation. And that's where the variables will, will, will come in. Um, but it'll be interesting to see that those of you that, that don't use a variable approach uh, and, and see how you've tackled it. Um, I'm guessing you could do it with, with, with measure branching as well. So it'll be interesting to see the approaches. Well, great. Look forward to uh, look forward to seeing how this one shakes out. Um, so the other thing I, I want to mention is you you've got double duty this month. You got a busy you got a busy April, and so you're also um, initiating a new challenge, new data challenge. And I was wondering yeah. now that we've got you on um, for problem of the week, if you might be able to give us just a a quick preview of what we might be seeing in the next week. A sneak peek. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, so it's actually a very, very exciting uh, and hopefully one that, again, like pretty much like this problem, you know, the, the use cases will, will be for every industry. And it's something that we should all be doing for every single project, um, every single development in Power BI. Um, so, so this challenge will be slightly different to um, the normal challenges. You know, it, it's not really a business problem. It's probably one for us as developers to, to kind of think about. Um, so without giving too much away, it, it'll be a very interesting challenge. Um, we'll, we'll actually be producing reports that I can guarantee all of you will, will jump on the bandwagon and start using. Um, I, I have shared some of it with Brian, so, so he's keeping a very straight face there. But, um, <laughs> I don't want to give too much away. It's a good one. But, but yeah, you, you guys will definitely see the benefits of this one, even in your own work, um, even at work, you know. It, it, it's going to help you massively with, with, with a side that at the minute it is a bit of wild, a bit like the wild west of Power BI, you know, nobody kind of takes ownership of it and nobody really wants to spend that much time doing it. So hopefully this is a great way for, for you guys to automate that. Um, yeah. So, so keep an eye out for it. a really, really cool challenge lined up. And that should be dropping in the next week or so. Yeah. Ho hopefully um, early next week. Great. Great. Well, Haroon, thanks for, Thanks for, for being here today for Problem of the Week and for the challenge coming up. We're looking forward yeah, to it. My pleasure. All right, we'll talk to you soon. Take care, guys. Thanks, everybody. Hey, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us, and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.